Viewers and subscribers, and welcome back again on this platform where we tell you undiluted truth. Shebi they talk say the fear of wanting one thing is the beginning of wisdom. But in the case of Tinibu and his bandwagon of co travelers in this bad governance um, journey in Nigeria, it is a direct opposite that the fear of the protest by Nigerian people against bad governance is the beginning of their foolishness. Now you need to listen to this to confirm my position. Each of the state governors has received 20 trucks of rice for onward distribution to the most vulnerable. This is a first step and government will continue, the federal government will continue to support all the state governors, the local government, all the subnationals, so that the hardship being experienced by most Nigerians in terms of shortage of food supply uh, is bridged. Government will continue to do whatever it takes to ensure that Nigerians have enough food to eat. Um, of course, you also know some of the interventions that the federal government has done um, in the agricultural sector, boosting our own capacity to produce food, uh, not just for our domestic uh, consumption, but also uh, possibly for, for export. And government will continue to do that. Um, we know that this will not solve the problem entirely, but this is a necessary first step that it has taken, and government will continue to do that. And you can see the speed with which the federal government has ensured that this is done. Now, what we want to say is to the federal government also wants to uh, appeal to the subnationals to ensure effective distribution of these food items so that those that are most vulnerable have access to this commodity. Good. What can you make of this nonsense? You know, these guys, they think that we are fools as much as they are. Yes, that is the truth. Now, come to think of it. Because Nigerians are now agitating and crying hunger and about to unleash their anger on the political class. All Tinibu and his federal government could think of is to give palliative, to share 20 trucks of rice to governors, to share to hungry Nigerians to calm their anger. <laughs> you see, this Babiala government initiated by APC is really crossing the red line. I'm telling you honestly. Because the person that is giving you rice, is he giving you the tomatoes? Is he giving you the oil? Is he even giving you the kerosene or the gas to cook that rice as palliative? No, let everything be palliative now. No, spin food Nigerians so that we can start clapping for you. You did well. Nigerians, you are seeing it. What they call you is fools because they believe you are hungry. And, 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 and to them, an hungry man is not an angry man in Nigeria. An hungry man is such a mumu in Nigeria. That is their thinking. Now you are seeing it, they are rubbing it on your face. I'm just bringing it to you so that you can understand better. This one we call Onyine Kwe, the gift of the devil. They will give you with one hand and collect it with the other hand. They are giving you rice. And they are collecting it through inflation. Through bad policies. And also, catching on this very stupid initiative to cash out on public fund. We know how these things go. Have we forgotten? The immediate past Minister of Humanitarian Affairs under Bugade still under investigation because of this Barbiala kind of government. These guys are not matching break. It just surprised me to see Nigerians, they still go about their business as if to say everything is normal. This is no time when you are being manipulated by controlled media. Now you have access to direct information and critical thinking and analysis without being controlled and manipulated by the political class. What are you doing about it? What have you done about it? Some people will say, oh, protests will not work in Nigeria. 
revolution will not also work in Nigeria. All that can work in Nigeria is for you to continue adjusting to bad governance. All is working in Nigeria could be for you to go to the church and pray that God will come down and save you from bad governance, and save you from insecurity, save you from hunger, give you jobs, bring food to your table. <laughs> Rethink, rethink, rethink Nigerians. Some of you are still playing ethnic cards with all of this. I know some people will blame the Igbos. Now, the next video will address that further because I've mentioned it in the past. You need to share this video and wake the consciousness of all Nigerians to the fact that ultimately they are the victims of bad governance. And the worst part of it is that these political class are rubbing it on your faces. What do you have to say about it? Share this video and wake up the consciousness of even if it is one Nigerian, you share this video too. Let them understand and see the, the real deal that is up for them by this government. I'm signing out. I'm only an advocate for good governance. What's your take on it? Drop it in the comment section. Bye-bye for now.